demonstration of build management and continuous integration with Uniface. In this example, we're using Uniface source code stored in text files, which is essential to how this all hangs together, it's provided by the UD6 driver. And what this customer of ours has done is integrate Uniface with their Jenkins continuous build using Maven. So in this Maven configuration file, instructs Maven, which is a standard build tool used by web developers, Java developers, lots of different teams, at how to go about compiling a Uniface project. This particular Maven command run on the DOS command line here. It doesn't have to be DOS, it can be any operating system at all. Maven runs pretty much everywhere. That configuration file tells Maven how to go about compiling the entire Uniface project. There are lots of different build tools. Another popular one is Make. UD6 will actually generate, automatically generate a Make file with dependencies uh, when used with the option pack. Uh, in this case, the customer wanted to use Maven, and so and they wanted to do a complete rebuild every time, so not uh, only rebuild the affected components, uh, which is what the make file will allow you to do, but in this case, uh, the, uh, this particular Maven configuration file will recompile everything every time. It's producing a zip file, which can then be deployed. So that's all very good on a command line, but we want continuous integration. So we want to fire this off every hour, or when people uh, complete a bug report or complete a feature in the, the, the defect tracking system or project management system or to do it at 1am every day, uh, something like that. So here is Jenkins and it will allow us to do that. In this particular case we're going to fire it off manually within Jenkins, but you can see there that there's a whole history of every time this project has been compiled in the past. We can see the same console output. In this case you can see that Mercurial is being used. That's the, the collaboration tool and the change management system for extracting that source code first before the build. And then Maven is run, looks just like what it did in the command line. But this is a web interface. So uh, this build can be fired off remotely or from your desktop. And you can compare the results today with the results last month or the results last year. All of that history is there. Again, we're compiling all of the global objects first. The model, global prox, global variables, those sorts of things. And then once all the, the central global objects are compiled, Maven will then create several processes for compiling the forms, form components, and the services. Those processes can be distributed across multiple cores or even multiple workstations, servers. So you get a lot of parallelism and you get a complete rebuild done very, very quickly. The actual compiler that's being, so there you can see a whole bunch of processes started for compiling the former components now that the model is done. The, the standard CompuS applied IDF compiler is being used for doing the actual compilation, but the source code is in text files and standard build and configura configuration management and continuous integration tools are being used so that the Java teams and the web teams, other teams in the organization have visibility of the Uniface projects and vice versa. They're using the same tool chains and so there's more productivity when developers move from one team to another. This is being used live today by a customer of ours. And they've supplied us this video to show you uh, what can be done today in a Uniface development environment. At the end of this, uh, this Maven build done through Jenkins here. 
it will actually deploy automatically to the test environment. And so you're then ready for the next stage of continuous integration, which might be some automated testing. If there was a failure, you can set that up so that whoever recently made a change is emailed.